So this is a gourd fiddle. It's a violin with a gourd made out of a gourd, cut in half, and the head of it is a goat skin. So that's what gives it a sound. It's it's got a more mellow sound than a regular violin, partly because of the goat skin, and partly because it's um, tuned down a couple of steps, a few steps, because you can't put that much tension on a goat skin. Um, so you just tune it down a little ways, and it, I think it sounds prettier that way anyway. It sounds almost like a viola. But this neck is hand carved by a guy. The, the whole thing was made by a guy I know named Jim Morris. And uh, he lives in West Virginia. And he hand carved this neck. So that's not a, a store-bought neck. It's one of a kind. I think he has, he's made a few of them on different violins that he's made, but um, they're all just slightly different. But anyway, it's, uh, the goat skin is, what you do is you dampen the skin and then you tack it down around the edges as tight as you can. And then as the skin dries, it tightens up like a drum. Now it's kind of humid today, so it's a little looser than it would be. And that, that's one thing about a skinhead with uh, banjos or anything like that. Uh, humidity makes them get a little softer and then when it gets dry, they get a lot tighter. So... Anyway, I, uh, this, this did have a strap on it, but I took the strap off and instead put this piece of leather on here because that little patch of leather right there fits against my chest and it makes the violin stick right in place as I'm playing instead of slipping. Without that leather there, this thing is really slippery and it just slips right down. So that leather holds it right there or you could hold it up here, you know, traditional if you want to. Um... At any rate, the bridge is hand carved, the tailpiece is hand carved, and it's got fine tuners. So, just wanted to show you that. Okay.